Hello and welcome. My name is Raymond Ijoma, and I'm a real estate entrepreneur as well as a property lawyer here in Nigeria. And in this particular video, we're going to be having a very, very important conversation. Um, it is also going to be a bit sensitive uh, because it has to do with finance and then also uh, it has to do with your money. We are, we are addressing Nigerians in diaspora specifically in this particular video. And we're going to be having a conversation with you specifically as it relates to how to build sustainable wealth through real estate investment in Nigeria, how to build wealth through real estate investment in Nigeria. We're going to tell you why as well as tell you how to do it how to do it and setting three three basic inf important factors that you need to consider whenever you want to do it or when you, you begin to do it as it were and then there's going to be another part of this video second part of this video where we are now going to be sharing five very important lessons with you or five things you must look out for so that you don't lose your money while trying to invest it is one thing to make decision to invest in nigeria it's another to lose your money in the process and from experience i haven't done a lot of transactions um for nigerians in diaspora because for certain reasons most of our clients are people who live abroad right and we've had a lot of experiences we've, been, we've intervened in a lot of issues uh, transactions uh, family matters and all of that and the truth about it is that uh, most of those issues could have been avoided so based on experience over the years we are also going to share with you in the next video coming in after this one uh, how not to lose your money in the process of investing in real estate in nigeria i mean that's 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 so much value already and you may want to consider subscribing to this video that is if you are yet to do so this video is brought to you by fortune limited a real estate company registered here in Nigeria and we bring you the very best of real estate investment, real estate investment opportunities and everything in between. We are now being called the cash flow company and the, the basic reason for that is because we prioritize appreciative assets as well as rental income. So altogether, our priority is to ensure that you have cash flow that is good enough and can make you smile to the bank. So yes, let's start the conversation somewhere around um, letting you know that, uh, I mean, we, we have certain figures, certain um, statistics. Uh, we have numbers that, that give us the average salary of those who live in the diaspora. So this is the why part of the conversation, why you should consider um, investing in real estate uh, and then also using it as, as, a, as, a, as a strategy to build sustainable wealth. Now, on the average from the information of statistics or research that we did, we discovered that the average um, salary of somebody who works in the US is around, say, uh, 30 to $90,000. Uh, this is from the Bureau of Statistics, Labor Statistics, right? While for somebody who works in the UK, you're looking at around 33 to 40,000 pounds yearly, right? And for somebody in Canada, it's about the same range. And, and for most other countries, we might even bring it down to say around $20,000 right and and when you look at that that is hard currency right and then when you translate it to your country uh, specifically in our conversation right now nigeria you're looking at say around 20 to 30 40 million naira per annum 20 to 40 million naira per annum i, I quite understand that uh, cost of living the standard of living in the us is is is, is something else um i have friends and we have clients in the us and, and one thing is, is certain, I mean, you have bills to pay, responsibilities to handle, taxes and all of that. You quite understand that. Uh, but I'm going to draw my reference from a client, a client of ours, who has been not only an inspiration based on what he does, but I think can also be an inspiration to you. I wish we could bring him up here on this platform to share his story and also share with you how he's been able to do what he has done over the years and and uh, but that, that may not be possible so we want to draw inspiration from his story and as an example to deliver the message of this particular video all right so so for this our client we don't exactly know what he earns but he invests around 15 to 15 million naira every year in real estate 
doesn't buy houses what he buys is lands right and then that means that his his priority as it were based on that is appreciative assets acquisition in the real estate right so if uh, let's go by the 10 million naira figure if he's able to buy land for 10 million naira every year for 10 years if you look at that based on 10 million naira per year across a period of 10 years then he would have generated or built or have have um or now possesses an asset base of 100 million naira 10 years 10 million naira times 10 years we give you about 100 million naira. but i am wrong because there's something referred to as compound interest uh, the idea or the concept of compound interest at the end of the day does something to all of those investments but first the property or the land that he bought 10 years ago has appreciated and is no longer just 10 million naira so assuming he bought that property in abuja or lagos where we are almost guaranteed of very fast return or appreciation he would possibly or that the, the first land he bought 10 years ago may have less even as zoom it has gotten to say um over, i mean 10 years is so much let's walk by let's even walk by very minimal rate of appreciation and let's say over a period of 10 years the, the the one of one million era appreciated by 100 percent and became 20 million actually it can even be way more than that but let's work with that figure let's bring it down so that uh, it makes so that uh, you can add yours and then possibly see the figures that you can get at the end of the day right so let's assume the one of the first property he bought the first land he bought 10 years ago appreciated by 100 percent and the one he bought nine years ago appreciated by 9% and the one you bought uh, 8 years ago appreciated by 8%. At the end of the day, compound interest takes precedence. Compound interest becomes a reality because altogether when you look at all of those assets, what it now has is not a 100 million naira asset but something way more. And guess what? I, I'm not sure what his purpose or idea uh, it's possible that it's for when he's returning to nigeria retiring to nigeria or possibly wants to use it to start a business or real estate business or something in nigeria uh, but somehow whatever if you look remember we did the land banking series and we talked about specific things you can do with land banking so one of the things he possibly could do with that is start a business possibly a real estate business he could also decide to I mean, start a business generally or just do build this his retiring home or the home that would be his retirement uh, 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 house or home or even now have it just begin to sell and have it as his retirement plan of course it doesn't have to be working anymore you can't be in your 60s 70s and still be working for somebody at that point he doesn't even work but he would be earning uh, as well as um, living like a big boy you understand so uh, let's leave him alone now because we, we sort of can draw inspiration or look at the figures that he has put in place and then we cannot say how can you two be able to possibly replicate that not exactly in the same number or or figures but you can't do that so it, it, even if you can't do 10 million if you decide to do 2 million every year if you decide to do 3 million every year if you decide to do 5 million every year then definitely you may be building yourself a great asset base that is going to uh, be uh, or enjoy the power of compound interest that at the end of the day you'll be glad that you made such a decision so as much as you are in the uk or in the us or canada or wherever what that does for you is that it helps you to get passive income uh, based on uh, the nigerian naira the value may not be exactly uh, in terms of equivalence of what you are earning over there but based on real estate since you are investing it in real estate that has appreciative value it can be appreciating in naira such that when you decide to liquidate it it will bring you something very reasonable particularly based on compound interest over a period of time you can even enjoy so if you look at appreciation and compound interest together then even though you invested in a weak currency you may 
be enjoying great dividends or getting great returns on investment based on appreciation and compound interest so basically why should you do this you do this for passive income if you don't want to relocate back to nigeria that's fine right but you can get passive income from here even though you are living in or working in the diaspora you can also benefit building wealth by this you can be able to build sustainable wealth here in nigeria and then finally nigeria is home um nigeria is home we can't take away that right since nigeria is home you may want to build a retiring home here or just have certain investment here in case of anything all right so that's basically the three reasons you should or you may want to consider uh, looking into what we said and begin to plan towards investing in nigeria so that you can enjoy appreciation as well as rental income and for the part of rental income we're going to have to talk about that uh, shortly uh, but before then let us look at certain things you really need to consider before you begin to invest number one you need to look at location location is critical like i said in one of the episodes of the land banking series i, I made it very clear that uh, when you are looking at investing in real estate you may want to consider the, the, the return on investment and the fast rate of appreciation. And I gave an instance, I'm also not going to mention any city here, but I gave an instance that when you invest in the top five cities in Nigeria, the return you are going to get will not be the same as investing in my village. It will never be the same, right? As much as real estate investment is good everywhere, if you have a specific purpose or you are looking at a specific period of getting returns, then you may want to consider investing in a city or a location where the, the return on investment will be fast and it will be good enough. Right? You can put in 20 million naira in a city and put in the same 20 million naira in another city. In one year, you may be getting 25 million naira in, in, in the first city and possibly 20, 20 million, 100,000 naira in another city. You understand? So you may need to consider. The location where you are looking at secondly you need to really consider security and sustainability security and sustainability are key factors you may want to consider so that relates to you looking at how secure will this be and how sustainable will this be and in doing that you may want to ask questions like who am i dealing with who is the company i'm investing this money with how can i further secure this property right so that is really critical to the question of security and sustainability what are what are the legal systems you are putting in place to ensure that this is secure and sustainable and the last thing that we're going to have to talk about here is the purpose for which you are buying the purpose has to be ascertained from the very beginning so that you make the right move if you're looking at returning home to your village to build a home that 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 everybody will crown you with the king of the village then you don't want to possibly look into investing in Lagos. You just want to buy a property in your village and that is absolutely okay, right? So that speaks to your purpose. But if you're looking at appreciation, then you may want to consider investing in a city that can bring you that appreciation, right? Uh, if you're looking at um, a rental income, you may also want to consider investing in a city that gives you good appreciation for your money. I mean, good rental income for your money. Now, if a client of us is looking at buying a property in one city, and uh, let's let's work with the figure. He has say around 50 million to do that investment. We're looking at the city, and in the course of having that conversation, we mentioned another city, right? And the 50 million naira he's planning to invest in this city will give him around 2 million naira rental income every year. However, if we put that same 50 million naira in the second city is going to be getting around four million naira rental income so at the end of the day it falls back to what exactly or why am i doing this what is the purpose for which i have uh, or i want to do this right so if it's rental income then you also want to that especially if you are not location buyers uh, for some persons uh, i'm from delta all my investments will be in delta right i'm from anambra all my investments will be in anambra that's okay that's absolutely fine but if your purpose that's why i said your purpose matters right so if you have defined your purpose and you're looking at an end goal in mind then you may want to look into some other areas and then explore some other options i hope this makes sense and this has been of great value to you remember we talked about why you should invest and then how to do it properly so that you get the best of the investment at the end of the day for us it is that your investments appreciate as well as your rental income comes in 
at is at, at a level that me you just keep smiling all day you understand yeah so again my name is raymond the german i'm a real estate entrepreneur as well as a property lawyer here in nigeria if you're looking at investing in real estate um, you may want to consider reaching out to the numbers you right on your screen will be available to serve you be available to deliver efficiently and excellently um three words are very key to us to ensure that your investments are safe profitable and sustainable so, ladies and gentlemen and just in case you're also here to subscribe we'll encourage you to subscribe we're bringing you value great education as relates to real estate and everything in between remember this in next episode that is coming after this where i'm going to be sharing with you how not to lose that money wise considering investing or wise investing in real estate in nigeria as it does bro ladies and gentlemen bye bye